welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I wanted to unbox with you my Eco Show 8 Alexa. So I have the original Alexa, like the little, I guess a little circular Alexa. And I'm not really sure, or it doesn't say. So actually, I did not know this. I thought this just came out last year. And I was right, this actually just came out in 2020. They have a new one with a bigger screen, uh, three times the price. So I was kind of surprised by that. Um, this was on sale when I got it on Amazon, about 90, 100 and something with tax. Now the sale is over. I'm not sure how much it is regularly. I think it's only like 115. I think, but I can always um, put the Amazon link below so you can take a look at this. So this, I really want to unbox this because I want to get this set up and put it in my kitchen. Already, super, I love packages that are super easy to open. Now I always look for... So that is kind of I realize I probably should have um I don't know if it's gonna fit. So it's actually super cute because it looks like a little miniature TV, like the old TV version. So I'm not really used to to this but it's like a little miniature TV so I think that's kind of cool I love this part the best part that noise when you just open it and you feel so satisfied like crinkle and you know it's brand new so this to see no I have to plug it in I don't think there's any other way so this is the whole back is a speaker so I so yeah that's kind of the basic features that I like of my Alexa uh, eco show 8 is I always thought I mean originally I'm like okay well I should get like a TV in my kitchen, like a TV or something that I could just put on the wall in my kitchen. And I'm thinking, well, that's kind of silly. I'm sure there's, I'm like, why would I watch TV in my kitchen? I wouldn't really watch it when I eat dinner. I mean, maybe breakfast, I might watch it, but it's like, not really. So for me, I'm the Alexa is perfect. It's a perfect size. As you can see, it's the size is absolutely per like, I love the size of it. Um, I'm actually going to put on, I ordered a glass protector for the front of my Alexa, which I'm going to put on later on tonight. And it's a perfect size to play music, to watch a movie on. And I just think it's just, it's simple, it's small, it's not a big TV or even a TV on the wall. I don't know. It was just kind of something that I thought of. And I mean... Who knows, maybe sometimes I'm gonna cook dinner or make my coffee or I wanna sit in the kitchen and have my coffee or I don't wanna go downstairs or I don't know, just something. I can see myself. I would probably hang out in my kitchen a lot more now that I have it. Uh, it's definitely good though. I mean, you can get the internet on it if you have Wi-Fi. You can go to YouTube and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure I even got on Netflix on here also. But that you kind of have to search for in the Alexa and find it. Um, but I'm pretty sure I did get on Netflix at one point. So that is good too. Also, if you have Netflix, I have not tried to log on to Disney Plus yet. That's something else that I'm going to try. I'm going to try to log on to Disney Plus and see if I can get on 
Disney Plus on my Alexa. Um, I'm not really 100% sure where I want to move it. I like it here, but the only problem is with it here is it's not facing the kitchen way. This faces where the table is and stuff. But I mean, I could switch it every once in a while and switch it to that way, but this blocks it. So if I put it on here, it, I really like the stand, but this will block it. Um, I also can put it on here. So it kind of faces my kitchen. It's something else that I decided to do, but I'm kind of not really 100% sure where I would put it. Um, I originally thought that I wanted to put it like here and move my spice rack. But then again, our elements are right here. So I don't really want to put it close to the elements, which is another reason why I got the glass protector. So I don't know. I'm going to play around with it and kind of see the best place for it. But yeah, definitely recommend it. Uh, if something you want in your kitchen for like, excuse me, for music, TV shows, just random in your kitchen. Like I said, it's not too big. It's like a perfect size. You heard it talk, the speaker, the whole back of it is a speaker. And I honestly think it was, I'd give it like a 10 out of 10. It's definitely a bigger, better, way better upgrade than the original Amazon Alexa, which is just a little circular box. Um, oh, also what I forgot to mention is I could pull up any recipe that I want. I could ask it to look for a chocolate chip cookie recipe or a spaghetti recipe. And it would not only pull up the recipe for me, but it will also ask me if I want, if I want to save it, if I want to order the ingredients online, or if I want it to read out the recipe to me. So if I had to just read out the recipe to me, I wouldn't have to keep look at the screen, look at the screen. I could just focus on my uh, on the dinner part of it and do it that way. And then it would just read it to me, which I think is kind of cool also. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my review take on the Amazon Alexa. I really, really, really like it. And I definitely think if you tried Amazon Alexa before, or if you tried the Google, um, the Google one, the Google, I should know the name, but I completely drew a bait. The Google, Google version of it or whatever, Google box, Google, I don't know. I should know the name, but for some reason it's, woo, I only had my cup of coffee today, so that could be the problem. Um, but yeah, if you've had the Alexa before, like if you have like any versions and you want to upgrade, honestly, I would go to this one. You can also hook this up to doorbell cameras and also you can hook it up to, it said nursery, your nursery camera, which I'm not really sure if my nursery camera is compatible with this which is why I probably can't figure out how to hook it up to my nursery camera. But it's not the biggest deal, I guess, but it'd be nice if I could hook it up to my nursery camera and then I just have to pull it up, ask it to pull up my nursery camera uh, whenever I wanted to. There, there probably is a way I could pull it up if I wanted to, but I just haven't really gone into it or tried it yet, but I might play around with it later on tonight and try and pull up my nursery camera and see if that will work. And yeah, I just, overall, that that's it. That's why I wanted to show you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to hit subscribe button to my channel and I hope, and oh, don't forget to hit the notification bell. So when you see I upload a new video and I do upload a new video every week, so I hope you enjoyed this video. So I got my Amazon Alexa set up in the kitchen and I wanted to show you the features. The original 
video that I made downstairs. Um, I find it didn't really show the features very well because of my Rin light camera or whatever. So I figured I'd refilm some of the features and you could see how it works in my kitchen. So this is my Amazon Alexa Eco Show 8. There is absolutely, as you can see, the screen is clear as day. It shows you the time as well as the weather what it's like outside. It is very cold outside today and I can program it to do so many different functions. For one example, I can search for music. So I can say, hey Alexa, find some country music. Showing stations matching country included with Prime on Amazon Music. For more stations, check out Amazon Music Unlimited. So I can go through these stations and I can either click one or I can tell it to go to, hey Alexa, go to number three. Sorry, I don't know that. Alexa, can you open number three, please? Hmm, I don't know that. Alexa, can you open 90s country? Here's a station you might like, Carrie Underwood on Amazon Music. Hey Alexa, stop music. Okay, so it shows that. Hey Alexa, go to home screen. So I'll go back to my whole sim. I can say, Hey Alexa, open up Amazon Prime. Here's Prime Video. So this is my Amazon. Obviously you have to have Amazon Prime to get Prime Video. I believe it's $83, $83 for the year or $8.99 a, a month, something like that. I just figured that it was easier for us to pay the $80 for the full year and just have it for the full year and renew it every year because honestly, I really like uh, Prime Video. I like it a lot better than Netflix at the moment because it has way more. So for example, I can go to like um, movies or I can just tell it to go to movies and I can scroll through all these movies it has and most of these I want to watch this movie One Night in Miami I do want to watch that movie um some of these you see it says subscribe I believe that's another channel you have to subscribe to but I will not do that just because I already pay the $80 for the year, so for me, I'm not gonna spend more money just to. Uh, some of these, most of these, as you can see, I can play if I wanted to. Transformers, actually, a lot of Baywatch, a lot of good movies on here. I could actually play right now a uh, video quality as you can see is really good so i can for example i'm going to quickly to watch get smart see your subscription options oh. on prime video never mind that one i have to subscribe i'm just going to click on this one and you will see it will go to the video It should go to the video. So that's how clear my video is. And I can turn up the volume on this.
at the bar. So that's just random. Um, I can also hook up uh, my Alexa to my Bluetooth on my phone and I can text somebody, I can video call somebody so I don't have to pick up my phone as long as my phone is in range. I can just video call someone from my Alexa. If for example, I am in the kitchen and I, or I'm gonna eat breakfast or I'm in the middle of dinner or something, I can pretty much just call them, video call them and talk to them from the kitchen.